All right, all right. Welcome back to Studio 39, a.k.a. The Bear Cave. Uh, I'm Rob Odie, and this is another episode of Spotlight 39. We've got another young man with another story to tell. That's the trend. That's what we do here. But before we get in, into all that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Please subscribe. It doesn't cost you a dime. Just hit subscribe because it really can impact a lot of lives. It can it can really help these young athletes that we're, we're putting the spotlight on and get them some more looks and more exposure uh, on a national platform. So please take the time to literally click the subscribe button. It doesn't cost you anything, but it can really go a long way in helping these young athletes. So with that out of the way, let's get into some fun. I'm going to hand the floor to you, my man. Tell us who you are, where you're from, all that fun stuff, and we're going to have some conversation. Yes, sir. My name is Levi Brown. I live in uh, Kennesaw, Georgia. I go to Alatuna High School. I'm in the class of 2022, so I'm a junior right now, and I play football. Fantastic. And what position do you play? I play corner. You play cornerback, right? Yes, sir. So what's your 40 speed? You got to be fast to play corner. I ran a 4.57 the other week. 4.57. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yes, so uh, so you got some time to, to increase that, right? Yeah. Yes, what's sir. Goal? Yes. yes, sir. Goal is to try to get four, four, five, somewhere okay. around there before I go to college. I got you. So, yes, so. You know, while we're on the, the podcast, obviously it's about my man. It's one thing that he was super, uh, super proud of. He ran a four three six at a rivals camp in Charlotte, North Carolina. So, um, very, uh, you know, very big deal, obviously. And that was that was his wheelhouse, man. He was fast as lightning. So, um, I just had to throw that out there in the spotlight too, right? So, uh, so you play corner. You're a junior. Uh, are you in season? Did you finish season? Do we not have yes, a season? What's it look like down there in Georgia? So down here in Georgia, we're all playing. Um, awesome. But it's, it comes down to if someone on the other team gets the uh, the virus, then the game will get canceled. So right now we're 8-0. and And so we're going to play this next game and be the region champs. And then uh, we've only missed one game so far. So it's been a good season so far. I like that, and I like how you said you, you're going to play one more game and be region champs, right? Yes, so so no, you, you're not even counting the opportunity of a loss. You're just crowning yourself as the region yes. champ, right? Oh, we pretty much secured it, so. Okay. This Good deal, just- man. Congratulations on that. Thank um, you. So let's, uh, let's talk a little bit about the season, right? How did it go for you? What went yes, well? So it's been really good. It's been really good. Our defense has been lights out. It's been uh, part of one of the best defenses I've played with. Uh, throughout my years of playing it's it's been a great year we've played uh, some solid teams too so yes sir that's awesome man so what what about your individual stats this so is, far uh, this, this is about you so what do you look at uh I've only had one pick so far and okay. uh they haven't really thrown much like the teams that we've played haven't really thrown a lot but I've gotten one pick so far and I don't know how many pass breakups but it's like somewhere around eight okay so we, got, so we got a lot of deflections. We got to pick, uh, you know, they're not throwing a whole lot. And, you know, yes, I'd be a little scared. They watch <laughs> the film from this year. Next year, you might might get even less opportunities, right? Yes, um, but that's cool, man. So what would uh, – how long have you been on varsity, by the way? Uh, I started varsity as a freshman. Started as a freshman. And why is that? Yes, uh, so at first, I went to a small 1A private school. Okay. So at, at that point, it was like you just put all your best, best athletes in and where they fit in. So sure. I was starting as a freshman. So started as a freshman, fit in, get in where you fit in, right? And yes, now sir. junior year, you're starting to show out. Um, have you had any uh, any looks or opportunities uh, from um, former recruiting so far? So I've talked to Harvard, Army, Navy, and a little bit with Maryland. Okay. Other than that, not very much. Okay, so was, I mean, with some some very solid, you know, big yes, programs that you've had conversation with, anything yes, come out of conversations, or is it still just kind of figuring out who you are and who they are, and if you're going to yes, be a sir. Good fit? Yes, sir. Yeah, that's that's how it is for the most part, especially okay. with the uh, Army, Navy, Maryland, and then Harvard. Where uh, right now, me and the defensive back coach are just building a relationship right now. Very Hopefully, cool. it points toward the right direction. Yeah, no, that's that's huge. I mean, Harvard is obviously a you know a nice football program, but man, Harvard yeah. is a, a very nice yeah. academic program. Yeah. Um, so sure. so you know you can't go wrong there. Uh, yeah. Then you've got other opportunities as well. I had a young man, Bo Kite, uh, who was you know a handful of episodes back now out of Richmond, Virginia, 
who uh, just committed to um, Army West Point. So they, too, have a, a strong program. So, yeah. you know, soak it up. You got time. Uh, I can imagine yes. more, you know, opportunities will present themselves in the very yes. near future as your senior season comes along. Yes, um, that seems to be when it really revs up and, and really takes off. But uh, make sure you keep doing what you're doing and, and blasting on, on Twitter. You know, that seems to be where all the recruiting eyes are, right? Yes, sir. All yeah. all you got, um, you have any camps coming up? that you've got planned or, you know, uh, not, not yet. Cause a lot of them have been canceled. So I was going to go to a lot more this summer, but they all got canceled. So right now it's just trying to find the ones that are going to be you. available. Um, yes. any plans to do any like off season, you know, seven versus seven leagues or anything like that off season. I, cause I play basketball and track too. Okay. So I'll probably end up playing seven on seven in the uh, track season just because basketball is a little harder to fit stuff in, but track yeah, season I'll sure. probably do it. That's awesome, man. So yes. very, very busy. Um, so obviously you're getting some conversations from Harvard. We're going to yes. transition to the classroom. I'm curious, where's your GPA at? Uh, last time I checked, it was at a 393. 393, man. That's, that's yes. great. That is super good. Um, very focused. Has that been kind of your trend throughout your your school career you know dating back yeah so it's been try to get a's my my parents make sure to hold me accountable to that to awesome. not not be satisfied with getting a b or anything less than that so i strive for the a's yes sir yeah man that's huge so uh so very very talented in the classroom very talented and on the field man um but who are you as a person what do you do outside of being an athlete I mean you're pretty much an athlete all year round but yes, outside of that you know who are you what do you enjoy doing um in your your free time what are you involved with you know who are you as a person I think that's yes, um, yes, more important than who you are as an athlete yes sir yes sir so pretty much my free time consists of spending time with the family we'll watch family movies or have a game night like every other night we'll always eat uh dinner together so we're always constantly together and then uh, when I'm not doing that, I'll be out with my friends doing who knows what. I'll go over to my uh, best friend's house and his parents will make dinner one night. So it's always constantly eating and spending time with family and friends. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Uh, still young, so enjoy it. Soak it up, right? Yes, sir. You got your best years in front of you. Yes, um, yes, sir. So I'm not going to take up much more of your time. Uh, I'll close it out with the same question I ask every single uh, young athlete that I chat with and that's what motivates and what drives you to want to wake up tomorrow and be that much more uh, successful than you were today. Yes, sir. So my freshman year, I went through a, uh, an injury where I, I went to make a tackle and I went in, it was like a perfect storm. I went in, went down to try to take his knees out. One of his knees up, went into my side, ended up lacerating my kidney and bruising my lung. So it was, it was hard to get up off the ground, but uh, one of my teammates picked me up. He said, come on. He said, we need you. I was like, I can't, I can't play anymore. I can barely so, move. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I barely walked off the field wow. and ended up. And so going through that, it was just like, that was my motivation. Cause at that time I was kind of like 50, 50. I was like, do I want to play basketball? Do I want to play football? And then going through that, making it through that, seeing how the team responded to uh, keeping me, and my head up and helping me through that, that was just like, this is like, I need to keep doing this. Cause if they wouldn't let me give up on myself and my career, then why would I continue to like not strive for greatness then? And so ever since then, it's been trying to get myself better every day and win the day just to be great. <laughs> that's uh that's very deeply said, man. Like most, yes. most folks come out, and there's no right or wrong answer, obviously, but, you know, most young young men will come out and, and they're doing it for their family. They're doing it for their mom. Right. Um, yes. The fact that you you went through some some pretty uh, serious personal uh, injuries and, you know, you weren't sure, you know, how you wanted to bounce back, what you wanted to do. Uh, I'm going to share this quick story just because it kind of leads right back into Darius. Um, when he went to a, a, a rivals camp at UVA, he actually ended up tearing his ACL. Um, when he was backpedaling and after that he obviously missed his you know his whole junior year and yes. a lot of a lot of conversations that he was having with you know big time programs they, they started to fall you know fall away and mm -hmm. he um you know he, he really got discouraged and and almost depressed per se 
and he wasn't sure if he wanted to play football anymore. And then it got to the point where, you know, he he found it, you know, within himself. You know, obviously I talked him up a bunch. Um, coach Lore, his high school coach, talked him up. And then he got back in his head, and he actually come, came back, and that's that's when he went to Charlotte's rival mm-hmm. camp and, and ran what he ran, and he, he just yeah. came back faster. It was amazing. So, yes, you know, it's great to see that you bounce back and, and, you know, you're starting to show out and do big things. Uh, I wish you nothing but the best. Uh, obviously, yes, I've got sir. an open invite. So if and when you want to come back on the show, um, you know, whether it be if you have a, a commitment to make or if you, you've got a, a top three, top five where you want to narrow it down or – Yes, but we can wait till next year and when you yeah. have more opportunities and, and uh, you know, you want to talk about your new skill set because obviously you're going to get bigger, better, stronger, faster, and I look forward yes, to sir. it. But yes, I love sir. to run it back. Uh, I'm going to close out the show with just, again, asking everybody who watches to please subscribe. Please subscribe because it really, really goes a long way in helping these young athletes uh, share their story and, and really ultimately get them where they want to be. So this has been an episode of Spotlight 39. It's been a pleasure chatting with you. I wish you nothing but the best. Until next time, talk to you later. Yes, sir.